Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a work item in Team Foundation Server 2013 using Visual Studio 2013. So let's do that. This is my server where I have installed uh, Visual Studio and I'm connected with Team Foundation Server. My um, col uh, col uh, collection is default collection and my team project is Tech Brothers Team and I have three uh, branches dev main and production branch uh, in order to create a new um, work item you need to uh, if you're if you have a different view than what I have you need to click on home and click on work items and you can click on here a little arrow and select what kind of work item that you wanted to create so we're gonna go ahead and create a task work item we wanted to create a work item uh, that the the type of that work item is task and we in that particular in this particular task what I want is um, I want to uh, assign a person that go ahead especially DBA create a database for me and we will go through this is just a demo and we'll go through different option when we create a work item mostly the options and work items are the same for all of them there are there there is common options for all the uh, work items but based on uh, some of the options will change based on what uh, work item you will choose so I'm gonna go ahead and in this demo we're gonna create a work item type task so go ahead and click on task first you need to name that work item I'm going to do create DB so this is my work item so once I name that up here uh, there's a, a, a status We'll go through status, planning, classification, efforts, hours. We'll go through all that real quick. So here you wanted to assign it to. If you wanted to assign it to a particular person, you can go ahead and assign it. Um, right now, I, I don't have many users. I have just these users in my Active Directory. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to cluster admin. And state is proposed. Um, it's a brand new item. I'm just proposing that. Um, and reason it's, um, you know, it's a new new reason and um, it's a new work item uh, so that's there's uh, no reason really but to new select new on that particular priority how uh, high the priority is uh, up here if you click on priority high um, then you need to go one one is high priority in team foundation server two is a little bit uh, you know critical and uh, if you select four that's low priority in team foundation server so um, up here, uh, this is triaged. That means that if um, uh, your particular work item or task is has been um, uh, vetted by your uh, testers and everybody, and uh, approved from your manager, so he can go ahead and click on triaged, and that means that it's um, it's approved, and you can go ahead and do whatever um, you know changing needs to be done or or the task needs to be created, and block is no. Or yes, it's it's not uh, um, blocked. It's not blocking anything. You can click on that yes, and then nobody else will really be able to uh, uh, do anything on this work item uh, except the person that you assigned to. And the other is area. Area is what team project that uh, this classification, this particular task belongs to. That is, uh, um, I have only one team project, which is uh, Tech Brothers underscore Team. And iteration is iteration zero. That if you have created this work item before and you wanted to do some modifications and all that that would be a different iteration so task type up here is planned you can uh, uh, you know select uh, corrective action that uh, you wanted to do the uh, the some some something needs to be changed in order to correct something or mitigation action or planned so I'm gonna keep it planned uh, discipline up here is whether it's analysis development or it's a tester or user education you can select uh, depending on your requirement efforts you can also track how many hours that is going to take and um, every time you put some hours and um, work on this particular task if it's 50 percent and your assigned hours are 16 and if you put eight hours you can put it up there it'll keep track of that so let's talk about um, up here um, description you can put a description what this particular task is you can go ahead and put uh, I am creating uh, I'm asking you to create a database and you can put database name I will go ahead and DB name would be my 
just for demo purposes my demo DB and you can put also the where the server is and all that a uh, kind of good description that uh, why you need to create this task and work items what project it belongs to all all the description that is going to help um, the, the person that you're assigning to uh, that would be great and implementation up here you can click on implementation that uh, um, and fill all that and if you go ahead and you know wanted to add your own customize your implementation you can do that you can also create a link you can create a link and click on this uh, plus sign and if implementation documentation is out there that how you wanted to implement you can put it out here also uh, the if you don't want it to do that uh, you can click on attachment and attach the documentation right here in source control which is TFS but if you wanted to create a link where you have documentation on SharePoint then you can click on implementation and uh, do the link to and uh, put the link there and that person will click, go ahead and click on link and then go ahead and look at the implementation documentation history up here um, it'll show the history if you uh, click on that if uh, this is since this is just the first task item and this is uh, the first one in uh, team foundation server that's why it doesn't have history otherwise it'll uh, show all the history that uh, when it was checked in what was changed last and all kind of good stuff attachment attachment is very important and it's a nice feature you can uh, add all the documentation uh, especially instructions or whatever you wanted to do um, and implementation up here uh, documentation you can attach uh, in in this particular task so that uh, that person that who you uh, assigned this task to can go ahead and download that document and look at it and follow the instruction so you can uh, add uh, um, link right here as well so uh, once you are done with all that um, if you click on uh, add if you wanted to add a tag because this is sometimes very important that you can search your um, work item by tags if you put a tag right here you can do that and after you do everything is completed then you can go ahead and click on save or uh, save all and this work item will be saved so this is how you create a work item in uh, Team Foundation Server uh, 2013 using Visual Studio. I hope this video helps.